In this video, I'll show you the step-by-step -step method of making this coupler in Fusion 360. Now, if you want to learn more about making similar parts in Fusion 360, then check the Fusion 360 free practice drawing course for more such videos. Link is in the description of the video. So with that, let's get started. This video is sponsored by Autodesk, who are running a huge discount of 30% on Fusion 360 and its extensions. More about it later in the video. So let's start with the sketch tool. So I'll go to this sketch tool. And in this case, I'll select this plane. Now the first feature is circle. So start with circle, with this center, just make the first circle and then with the same one, make the second one. All right, now it's time to add the dimensions. So press escape and now type D for dimension. And for this one, the diameter is 50. And for the second circle, the diameter is 30. And done. Now we need to add height. So finish this sketch, click on extrude, select this concentric area and give it a height of 30 unit. With that, click OK. And the first base shape is done. Now it's time to make the second feature. For that, I'll select this plane and I'll go to create sketch. Now for the second feature, I'll start with this two point rectangle tool. And from here, I'll select center rectangle. Using this as the center, I'll make a rectangle like that. Now I'll make one more rectangle that kind of looks like this. So basically we have, well, two offset rectangles here. And now it's time to add the dimension. So the first distance from this point to this, that is 74, all right? And the second distance also, it should be 74 from this point to this for the same rectangle, of course. So it's basically a square. Now I'll press escape and now we'll add the offset distance. And for that, I'm just going to make it like that, just a little bit smaller. All right, now I'll type D for distance and I'll just add the offset distance, which happens to be two unit for this side. So I'll just select it all and I'll make it two. Now I'll also ensure that this distance from this to this stays at to unit, but it should be inside. So I'll just move it inside like that. And now I'll add the distance from this point to this, it should be two unit. And now it is fully constrained. All right, now these two rectangles should be construction geometry and we are going to be using it as such. So I'll just select it all. So basically, I'll select this entire set of geometries and maybe I'll just deselect this by pressing and holding the control key or it is not even required if you don't want to and then simply select construction and now it's all a construction geometry. Okay, so that is done. Now, the next step is a circle. So let's go to circle and with the same center, I'll make a circle of dia 40. So I'll type D and this should have, well, it should be of 80 unit dia. All right, so we are pretty much done with the base shape. Now it's time to add the details. So I'll go to circle. And from this point, from the vertex of the smaller rectangle, I'll make the first circle and its dia should be 12. So D and this should be, well, 12. Now let's add one more circle here. And using the same center, I'm gonna add it. I'll just deliberately make it larger, even though we just need to use a smaller dia for this. So I'll type D and now this dia is six. All right, it will already, well, make it smaller. Now we can repeat the process for all the four vertices or we can make an array, but in this case, I think I'll simply repeat the process. So here we are. And now we can use constraints. So I'll select this and control select all of these circles and apply equal constraint. Done, repeat the process. So this, the smaller one, I'll actually press escape and then I'll select it all. So I'll start with this and then I'll select this one. Maybe I'll just zoom in a little bit and then this one, and finally this one. And again, I'll apply the equal constraint and they are all equal now. All right, now the next step is, again, we'll make a circle. Or maybe we can just use an arc. So I'll just select three point arc, just for the sake of simplicity. And I'll select this point, another point maybe here, and then third point, well, somewhere here. All right, now that's a random one, but we can now make it tangent. So select this, control select this, and make it tangent. Repeat the process for this and this, and they are tangent. And the last step is adding the radius, which is, well, 60 or the dia of 120. So I'll just select the circle, and here, let's add a radius of 60, and we are done. Now we can repeat this arc on this side as well. So for that, I can actually create another arc, or you can just make a mirror image. In this case, I'll just make another arc. That is actually easier. So this is 60, and now let's add the tangency. So from this point to this, it should be tangent. 
and also I'll just move it here select these two and just make them tangent done now let's clean it up so select this and this 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 done now we need to add some details here and to do that I'll start well the line tool so I'll select the line tool and maybe I'll just add it something like this I'm not touching it here and we actually need to make it tangent which we'll do in a moment but for now I'll simply add it like this 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 and this right out here okay it looks like I just missed the last one so I'll just add it here okay now it's time to add the constraint so I'll just select this line and this circle and let's make it tangent and we need to add the distances so this distance I'll type D and I'll add the distance here 14 now the height and the height should be 8 unit from this rectangle to this and let's just add it 8 unit now we need to add the next distance from this to this and that should be just 12 units there we are and with that as you can see our drawing is fully constrained all we need to do is just remove these extra edges so go to trim click here and here and the extra edge is gone all right now we need to add another tangent arc here and for that i'll once again go to arc three point select the first second and third point like this select this control select this let's make it tangent select this and this and they are tangent as well let's press escape move it out and now the radius so the radius of this one is 45 so let's type 45 and done now trim and trim the extra edges okay it looks like we are almost done with this now we only need to add a circle right about here so let's go to circle and add it here and this should be added on this one this rectangle so i'll just add it randomly like so and now the distance so distance between this circle and this center is 18.6 so let's type that 18.6 and now this radius which is once again 6 actually 6 is the diameter just like all the other circles here the smaller ones so i'll type d click here and this should be 6 all right it's time to clean it up so let's go to trim and now i'll trim this and this is smaller segment right about here that's all now we can delete the entire remaining arc so i'll select this entire arc and i'll delete it now after deleting you may see that this thing is well no longer constrained if you want to keep it constrained you can press ctrl z and instead of deleting it you can convert it into a construction geometry so i'll just select it and i'll simply click this or you can type x on your keyboard and it's going to convert it into construction geometry and everything else will remain like that okay so this much is done now before we move any further here is a message from our sponsor autodesk if you haven't yet purchased fusion 360 and you want to remove all the limitations of a startup or other free version that you are using then now is the best time autodesk is offering a huge discount of 30 percent on fusion 360 team participant generative design machining editive build nesting and fabrication product design simulation and signal integrity extensions with monthly as well as annual subscription options the discounts for fusion 360 for product design and manufacturing and for manage extensions is available for annual subscription only now this offer is for india only and it is available only till january 31st 2023 so check the links in the description of the video to get your discount now back to the video now it's time to make a mirror image of this segment which we just now created and to do that we need a mirroring line first so i'll go to line tool and here i'll just start from this midpoint and maybe i'll just click on this midpoint and i'll select this line type x to convert it into construction geometry now we are ready to just make a mirrored copy of this so i'll just select this and maybe i'll just make this kind of lasso selection just to include only these sketches so press and hold your left click and then make a selection like this and that's going to include all these sketches now go to mirror and simply go to mirroring line and select this mirroring line click ok and we are done so we have a mirrored copy of this sketch so basically everything is done all we need to do is just trim some of these extra edges once again so go to trim and just trim this and i'll zoom in and i'll trim this part i'll do the same for this one so this and this let's repeat the process for this this one this one and this one now we can remove this remaining arc well from all those four sides actually there we are now once again it just became well 
not fully constrained so you can just press ctrl z and select this and convert it into construction geometry all right and there we are we have got this sketch now it's time to convert it into 3d but before we do that we need to add this hole here so i'll go to circle and i'll add one final circle here which overlaps this one so with that finish a sketch and now let's go to extrude so i'll just select this feature and i'll extrude it inside here and the distance is minus 5 but instead of making a cut feature we will join it with the existing drawing click ok and done all right now that is done but we actually forgot to just add the fillets so there should be fillet here as well as here we can do that even after making the 3d so i'll select the sketch right click and edit sketch now i'll go to fillet the fillet that we need to add are here and here now the fillet radius is one unit and we also need to add the fillets on this side so let's just select this and this edge done so with all the fillets added select finish sketch and there we are fillet is added now let's go to this plane here and i'll go to sketch again and once again let's make two concentric circles so i'll go to this center this one same and this one all right let's type d for dimension and this should have a dia of 60 and another one with a diameter of 46 all right we are done finish a sketch and we'll extrude it select this select this concentric part and move it out now the height of this segment is four units so just type four and keep join selected here click ok we have this and we need to add some fillets here so let's go to fillet and the first fillet is right here now its radius is six so type six and press tab key or enter click ok the first fillet is added now for the second fillet once again i'll go to fillet and i'll select this edge and also and i'll select this edge and also this one and this radius should be one unit so one and press tab key click ok done now this part of the feature is almost done now we need to just go to this one so select this plane and go to sketch all right now here again we'll start with circle so i'll just select the same center and i'll make a really big circle here and the diameter of this circle is 84 so i'll type d and let's just make it 84 okay let's make a construction geometry so i'll go to line and i'll add a construction geometry like this actually this is a simple line so select type x and it's going to convert it into construction now let's add length so type d and length of this construction geometry is 48 done and using this i'm going to add well a circle so i'll go to circle right at this end point i'll add the circle and the diameter of this circle is six so again type d and add the diameter now i'll also add a rectangle here so i'll simply just add it well randomly like this and maybe i'll just move it inside also now it's distance so type d from this point to this it should be 10 actually it accidentally made it one it should be 10 so i'll just make it 10 all right and the total distance from this point to this is 20 so that it just remains centered so 20 and there we are now the distance of this point from this center is 54 so let's just add that 54 and we are done now everything inside is just extra stuff so go to trim trim this 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 and this we don't need it all right so we have this one we'll trim it also but before we do that let's just make array and even before that let's add fillets here and here so i'll go to fillet select this edge and this one and the radius of this fillet should be five so with that i'll just press enter now once again we just need to select these sketches so just select it like this and actually we just selected the dimensions which we don't need so maybe i'll just move it out and once again i'll make the selection but this time i'll make the simple selection like that and once again it just selected it all so let's repeat it and now we are done now it only selected the things that we need okay so with that let's go to create and circular pattern now we have 16 objects selected go to center point click this as the center and number of object is three now in this case if you scroll down you'll see that number of object is already three so the quantity is set to three and that's what we want so i'm not going to change anything and you can al also see the preview of what you're going to get so with that click ok and let's trim it so now we can trim this and this and this and here we are so we've got this sketch as well finally we also need to add one more circle right here so that we can create the hole as well finish the sketch and let's go to extrude select this part and move it inside now this height is well 10 unit but since it is in negative direction so i'll type minus 10 tab key there we are and just click ok 
with join selected and this is what we are going to get. So here instead of just adding 10 unit height, I think we should add the first height of 2 unit which will make the thinner plate. So I'll simply go to this extrude feature and I'll select edit feature and I'll change that height from 10 to minus 2. Alright, now that makes more sense. So here we have it and I'll add another sketch here for this part and then we'll extrude it. So in that case, well, let's just select this plane once again and I'll go to sketch, circle, select this one and just make sure it's equal to this circle right about here. Alright, that's done. Finish the sketch and now let's extrude it. So I'll select this, move it inside and it should be join and the height is minus 10. All right, and with that, click OK, and this is the feature that we needed. We finally need to make a fillet here, so let's do that. So 3D fillet, select this edge, and the radius should be 5 units. So type 5, press tab key, and here is the fillet. Click OK, and we are done. So that's our final part. Now, you can also add more fillets here on these edges if you want, but for now, I'll leave it like this. In case you missed the Autodesk promo, you can get a huge discount of up to 30% on Fusion 360 and several of its extensions. Check the link in the description for your discount.